Chicken drumsticks are always a crowd pleaser and they're really inexpensive. I love to cook them, especially with the skin on to keep them nice and moist. But to make chicken drumsticks extra special, you have to have a really delicious marinade and I've got just that for you. First of all, some chili jam. I use this quite a lot. I'm using a Thai chili jam here and it's a medium spice, so it's still okay for the kitties. Of course, you can leave it out if they don't like it. So one tablespoon of the chili jam and we need some sweetness to balance it out. So I need one and a half tablespoons of brown sugar and a little bit of vinegar, just a touch in there like that. And just for a little bit of saltiness, we need some soy sauce. Again, about a tablespoon of soy. That's how easy a delicious marinade can be for these chicken drumsticks. And let's move on to the chicken. Now I've got eight chicken drumsticks here. You could also use chicken wings for this. These are gonna take just a little bit longer to cook, but to speed up the process, here's a great little trick. We'll put them on our board. So with a sharp knife, all you have to do is just a few slits. So I've got two slits on that side and two on the other and that goes straight into the marinade. Now if you're super organised, do this the night before because it's going to taste so much better. Of course they're still going to taste good because by doing these slits now that marinade will go through the whole meat straight through to the bone there. Okay, a few more. Perfect, done. Now we'll give that a really good mix, coating it. I actually don't like to use a spoon because that takes forever. If you want to really get that marinade into the slits there, dig in with really clean hands and give that a really good massage. Now I've preheated my oven to 160 degrees. Because there's a little bit of sugar in the marinade there, it will burn if it's on a high heat. So we want to cook this a little bit slowly. First of all, a little bit of baking paper onto my tray here. And then... I like to get a rack and put that on top. Now the baking paper is there because this is going to get really sticky. So it's just going to help in the end when we're washing up. And I think the rack is really important. So we get a nice even cook on the chicken. It'll be crusty and yummy all the way through instead of being a little bit soggy on the bottom here. So putting a rack is a great way of cooking these drumsticks. So let's pile them on and two more in the center there. And this is going to cook for about 30 minutes. But what I'm going to do is keep this marinade and every six to seven minutes, I'm going to baste it to ensure that they stay really beautiful and glossy. All right, in they go. good do these chicken drumsticks look? They're glossy, they smell so good. And I'm going to serve it with a little salad. So let's make a dressing. A little bit of that rice wine vinegar again, straight into a jar. I love using jars. I never throw them out and keep them for occasions like this when you want to make a really fast dressing. Some soy sauce, about a tablespoon. There it goes. I love sesame oil, so three drops. Okay, that was probably about five drops, but I do love the flavour of it, so I'm going to add a little bit more. And ginger. Ginger in dressing is fantastic. Use a fine grater to mince it. And we want about... Oh, I'm going to use about half a knob of ginger here. Plenty. Get a great flavour out of that. And just a little bit of vegetable oil or a, a low scented oil. I don't like to use olive oil for this. I don't want to taste it. I want to taste the sesame oil in there. I want to taste the ginger in this dressing. Okay, lid on. We'll give that a really good shake. And that just saves cleaning up a bowl and a whisk that's ready to go. So in our salad here, I'm adding a little bit of onion, just a touch. You can see how finely I've sliced that. When you're using larger onions, like these Spanish onions, you do need it to be fine or else it overpowers everything. You can also use some French shallots for this or just the standard spring onions that you can use. And look at those colours. Don't they look fantastic together? Let's add our dressing. And everything can be done ahead of time. The dressing can be done. All you have to do is add it in the last minute. We'll stir that in. Oh, it smells so good, that sesame and ginger combination. And 
let's start to plate this up. I've got a beautiful sky blue plate here. Look fantastic against that purple. This is one of those dishes I do when I go on picnic sometimes. I have the salad ready, my vinaigrette ready. I have my drumsticks ready cooked and they're cooled. They're fantastic cold too. So there's lots of different ways to serve it. And I'm going to just put, well, let's say three. Yeah, I could definitely eat three of those. They look so good, smell fantastic. A beautiful, really inexpensive dish. And the key here is to make a super delicious marinade for those chicken drumsticks.